Hi, let us discuss this question. Find points on the surface z square equal to x y plus one nearest to the origin. Okay. So this is the question. You are given with some surface. So our interest is to find a point on the surface which is near to the origin. Let me assume origin is here zero zero zero. We want to find x y z which is near to this. It means what? If we consider the distance function from origin to this point, and the distance function will have minimum value at x y z if the point is near the origin. Okay. Now we can reformulate this question. It is same as finding a point on the function for which the distance from origin to this uh, this point is minimum. Okay. But instead of dealing with distance function, we are going to deal with distance square. Why? Because in the distance function, we will have square root. Why? Because you take distance between any two points. This is how it used to be measured: x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square plus z two minus z one whole square. So in the distance function, we have square root. But while differentiating and all, we were not comfortable with square root. So let us consider distance square. If the distance is minimum, then the distance square is also minimum at that point. Okay. So let us let us start the solution. So let x y z be a point on the surface we know what is that surface that is z square equal to x y plus 1 now we are going to consider the distance function Consider the distance square function that is f of x y z equal to x square plus y square plus z square. So we would like to find a point on this surface which is for which this function x minimum. Okay. In other words, we can rewrite this question. The question can be rewritten like this: minimize f of x y z. subjected to the constraint phi of x y z that is nothing but z square minus x y minus 1 equal to 0 given surface only we have rewritten it like this okay now we would like to minimize this function subjected to this constraint. Now we can take help of Lagrange multipliers. Okay, in Lagrange multipliers, what we will do is we will cons consider this function capital F of x by z, which is nothing but small f. That is the function we want to minimize or maximize plus lambda into constraint function that is phi of x y z. Okay, now let us write it. Now our f of x y z is nothing but f small f of x y z which is x square plus y square plus z square plus lambda into we know what is phi. That is nothing but z square minus x into y minus 1 equal to 0. Now what we will do is we will find critical point for this big F. How do we find critical point? We will take the partial derivatives and we will equate to 0. From that we will find that critical point. So let me do it. So first we will take partial derivative with respect to x. 
what is fx here derivative of x square is 2x and derivative of y square will be 0 z square will be 0 because we are differentiating with x in partial derivative 2 if we differentiate with, with x we treat y and z as constant okay so z is z square derivative will be 0 minus x derivative is 1 into y minus 0 equal to 0. So from this, this is what we got. This implies 2x minus lambda y equal to 0. Okay. So let me assume this is equation 1. Similarly, take fy and equate it to 0. So this implies what is derivative of f with respect to y that is 2y plus lambda into minus x equal to 0. So this implies 2y minus lambda x equal to 0. Okay. And let me assume this is 2. And one more thing, we need to differentiate f with respect to z equated to 0. This implies we will get derivative of this with respect to z is 2z plus lambda into 2z equal to 0. So from this we can write z into in other words 2z into 1 plus lambda equal to 0. Okay. So here uh, for this equation tells one thing, we can get lambda value directly, right? We can see if a into b is 0, definitely either a is 0 or b is 0, right? So here 2z into 1 plus lambda is 0, it means either z is 0, 1 plus lambda is 0. Okay. So here if we take 1 plus lambda is 0, from this we got lambda value, lambda equal to minus 1. Okay, so we got lambda value here from the third equation. Now let me substitute in the first equation. So if we substitute in the first equation, 1 implies what is it we get? That is 2x minus lambda y equal to 0. This equation becomes 2x minus y equal to 0. Okay, and similarly, we write the second equation. What is second equation here? 2y minus lambda x equal to 0. This implies, what is it? 2x minus, okay, sorry, here minus into minus, it will become plus. Minus, uh, lambda is minus 1, so minus into minus plus 1. This is plus, and here we will have. 2y plus x equal to 0. Now, what is the solution of this equation? Solving these two equations, we can see x must be 0 and y must be 0. Okay, the only solution of this equation is x equal to 0 and y equal, and y equal to 0. Or you can directly solve it like this. You multiply uh, multiply this equation with 2 and subtract. When you subtract, you will get uh, y equal to 0. If y is 0, then x also becomes 0. Okay, so I hope you can see that. So, solving these two, we got x 0 and y 0. Now, we should take the surface equation. What is the surface equation here? z square equal to x into y plus 1. So, this implies z square equal to, we got x 0, y also 0 plus 1. This implies that z square equal to 1. It means what? z is equal to plus or minus 1. Okay. So therefore, so therefore what is the point we got here? So the point x, y, z, by solving it we got x, y, z equal to 0 comma 0 comma plus or minus 1. So this is what we got x0, y0 and z is plus or minus 1. 
now we can see what is the function value at this point. So f of 0, 0 plus or minus 1 will be 0 square plus 0 square plus even if you take square of plus or minus 1 both will give us the same result that by direct that is why I am directly writing this so we got 1 so we can observe that we can observe that this function takes minimum value at 0 0 1 ok and to check it you can do one thing you pick up any point on this surface ok and substitute that point in this distance function so that distance will be bigger than 1 ok but but there, here is one more case we need to see we we looked at only one possibility that is 1 plus lambda equal to 0 what happens if z is 0 if z equal to 0 then how to solve it let us see if z is the 0 we will write the function now or sorry we will write the given surface that is z square equal to x y plus y. then what happens x y plus 1 equal to 0 it means x into y equal to minus 1 ok and and we have these two equations we need to solve the 1 and but in this case what we will do is we will rewrite this 1 and 2 like this ok so let me do it on the another place so if I take z equal to 0 then we got x into y equal to minus 1 this is what we got ok and we have two more equations that is 2x plus 2x minus lambda y equal to 0 that one can be written like this 2x equal to minus lambda y and 2 implies 2y equal to this is plus lambda x ok so now what you can do is from here you can write it like this y is equal to y equal to minus 1 by x that we can substitute it here in the first equation ok so if we substitute this or instead of, instead of doing this we can do one thing directly we can write 1 divided by 2 this implies 2x by 2y equal to lambda y by lambda x it means what happens lambda lambda cancel 2 2 cancel so x by y equal to y by x it means what x square equal to y square ok so we got x square equal to y square now let us take this x into y equal to minus 1. So now we can if x into y equal to minus 1 and x square equal to y square. So what are the possibilities? From this we can write two possibilities. One is either x equal to y or x equal to minus 1. So if x equal to y, let me take if x equal to y then x y equal to minus 1 it means that x square equal to minus 1 is it possible is it possible to have a real number which satisfies this equation no it's not possible because only complex number satisfies this equation so there is no real number ok so this is not possible next let me consider the another case that is x equal to minus y. Ok, so in this case let us write what is x y equal to minus 1 which is x into minus x equal to minus 1 which means x square equal to 1. We cancel minus and minus. Now we have a possibility for here. It is possible that x equal to plus or minus 1. Ok. 
if x equal to plus or minus 1 and again we have two cases if x is plus 1 then what is y y will be minus x minus 1 0 this is one point and another point is if x is minus 1 then y will be plus 1 comma 0 because we are assuming x equal to minus 1 okay now you see what is the function value at this point so at this point it is 1 plus 1 plus 0 because x square plus y square plus x square this is also 1 plus 1 plus 0 so we got 2 here we got 2 here so earlier what we got earlier f of 0 0 1 we got 1 and whereas here we got 2 which is minimum minimum is actually this one plus 1 ok so therefore a point on the surface which is near to the origin is 0 comma 0 comma I mean origin the points on the surface which is near to the origin are this 0 comma 0 comma 1 and 0 comma 0 comma minus 1 that's it okay but you can do one thing uh, you can actually skip the second discussion here the possibility that z equal to 0 you can simply conclude just with this you find the lambda value and from this you can directly derive so this is good okay now let us see this graphically you see so here I am taking the surface see I am taking the help of GeoGebra there you enter the surface z square z square equal to x y plus 1 so this is the surface we get okay so you can see the shape of the surface. Now you see now you see that this point is actually 0 comma 0 comma 1 and this point is 0 comma 0 comma minus 1. So now this is the point near to the origin and you pick up any other point which is always far compared to these two points. Okay. By taking z equal to 0, we got this one, but this is the distance from here to here is actually root 2. We got distance square is 2, so here the distance is root 2, but the distance from 0, 0, 0 to 0, 0, 1 is 1. So 1 is the minimum distance compared to root. Okay. So geometrically also we can see it. So I hope you understand. Thank you.